what they've said in their complaint is that uh, these these payments are um, funded under Obamacare and uh, that the president has an obligation to make them, which is ironic because a federal judge has already said that those payments are in fact unconstitutional. There's nothing in Obamacare that um, provides funding for them. And, you know, under our Constitution, an important check and balance is that all appropriations have to originate uh, in the legislature. The president can't spend money unless it's been appropriated by Congress. This is fascinating, John, because if those payments to the insurance companies are unconstitutional, they have been being made, those payments, to the insurance companies up until now. So how is it possible for vote, both of those things to be true? Well, they can't both be true. And I suppose if this lawsuit ever reaches a federal court, we'll find out which one is true. But it seems perfectly clean, clear to me that um, in this case, the Trump administration is right. And the uh, Josh Stein and the other attorneys general are just... I can't even think of the right word. They're just making trouble for the sake of making trouble, or perhaps as a way of virtue signaling. But it, it's it, the, the act is perfectly clear. There's nothing in it about appropriations for these measures, and, and there's no reason why there needs to be. There's lots and lots of federal laws that require expenditures but don't appropriate money. And when that happens, uh, it happens all the time. The administration goes to Congress and they ask for an appropriation. And if Congress wishes to, it makes the appropriation. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And when it doesn't, then the president's hands are tied and he can't spend the money.